The first thing you physically notice is her eyes, her bright, shiny eyes. The next thing you notice is her voice. The real heart stopper that she has is a body. Powerful yet lean. And the way she moves. She needs assistance to move around. But she's achieved it all. She's a legend in her category. Ever since the launch, the Honda City has been a pillar of Honda success in India. But this title has been under threat lately with stiff competition from Maruti Sierras. Right on cue, Honda has launched the 2007 City with revised styling, new features and a new variant lineup. The City gets a new top ZX trim which comes only as a petrol automatic or diesel manual and not as a petrol manual. Prices for the updated city start at Rs 8.77 lakh for the base petrol and go up to Rs 13.84 lakh for the top end diesel. X showroom Delhi. Today we have the Honda City V for the review. So what's it like on the outside? It's different, of course. This is not a generation change, but the front end definitely looks sharper. The new car receives a host of styling changes and features that make it more modern and up to date and yet unmistakably a city. The new sharp-edged bumper design and wide honeycomb grille give it a sleek look that reminds you of the latest Honda Civic that sold overseas. The chrome bar atop the grille is now thinner but protrudes more and extends at the sides to meet the all-new LED headlamps in the VX and the ZX with LED daylight running lights. Kudos to Honda for giving LED lamps around. These changes will certainly be a huge draw with customers for their premium imaginary and bright illumination. LEDs in the top end model also features in the fog lights, rear tail end cluster, trunk lid spoiler stop lamps and on the wing mirror indicators giving the city a sharp distinctive look. The top end variants also get the all new 16 inch alloy wheel and with them wider tires. Both of these do well to improve the city's stance. So let us look at it what's it like on the inside. Honda has always been great with interiors and the city is no exception. The new car keeps the best bits of the city's interiors intact while trying to pile on the premium cotton and tech. The first thing that will catch your eye inside the city Honda is the new digipad, the infotainment system. Available in the V, VX and the Z extremes, this system is equivalent with a 7-inch capable touchscreen that has great resolution, liability icons and is pretty easy to operate. The digipad, as Honda likes to call it, for some strange reason does not get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It surely wouldn't have taken the world for Honda to provide these, at least on the top two variants. Of course, you can connect some smartphones through Mirrorlink. And the beige color scheme with black overlays looked rather cool. The 2017 Honda City also comes with navigation. The multifunctional instrument panel gives you all the necessary information. Also, the top trims get a one-touch electric which strangely has been a popular offering amongst a range of urban buyers. All in all, the cabin of the Honda City facelift is a comfortable place to be in and it definitely feels more premium and upmarket when compared to rivals. There are the usual suspects which are the USB, Oxen, Radio 
and Bluetooth telephony along with the start stop button, automatic climate control with touch panel, rear AC vents, reverse parking camera and so on. A look at the three spoke steering wheel and you can see the controls for volume, telephony and the cruise control. The system also offers a new feature like Wi-Fi support used for your phone as hotspot and it will connect to it. Two USB slots and even an HDMI port. Two micro SD slots. Connectivity is the buzzword for the customers today and Honda seems to have kept this in mind. The city's premium cotton has been upped a bit with a greater use of soft touch plastics and chrome trims on and around the dashboard. The city's traditional strengths like those comfortable seats, rear seat space and flat floors remain unchanged. On the safety front, dual front airbags, ABS, EBD and IOS fixed seats are standard across the range. So what's it like to drive? The city continues to be powered by the same set of petrol and diesel engines. The 1.5 iDetect engine that makes 100 HP deliver great low end performance and is smooth and linear in a very undiesel like way. But rev is hard and it becomes rather noisy. Honda claims to have added more insulation for lowering the NVH levels in the diesel. And though it is a marked improvement, there's only so much that could be done to curb what is inherently a noisy engine. Whereas the petrol variant, as expected, is much less noisier. The ambient sounds have gone down a bit, but the diesel engine rattle is still an issue. The petrol option is of course the tried and tested naturally aspired 1.5 i VTEC engine developing 119 HP. The motor is still a riot for enthusiasts, revving out eagerly to its red line and making a lot of its power to the top end. It's quite usable at the bottom end too, and as the revs climb, it can get a bit vocal. Gearbox option remains the same as well, with a 6-speed manual for the diesel and a choice between 5-speed manual or 7-step CVT automatic for the petrol. With India's crowded roads and newfound fondness for automatics, it's sad that the city doesn't offer such an option on the diesel. But that's just something that will perhaps have to wait for the next generation. With no mechanical changes to the suspension either, the ride remains largely the same which is to say agreeably by class standards but not class best. There's still a fair bit of roll around corners and the ride quality can get a bit choppy at times. The top ZX variants do get new 16 inch alloy and wider tires and thankfully they don't seem to have hurt the ride quality at all. As for the handling, it's pretty good. So should I buy one? The Honda City has always been a great buy for the Indian buyers thanks to strong core values. Reliability, performance, space, comfort and premium feel meant that if it ever wasn't the class benchmark, it always came very close. There is an upgrade to the Honda City, no doubt. The City facelift looks and feels fresher and we have also told you which variant are better. The list of features is longer and the cabin feels plusher, but with rivals such as Maruti CIS, Skoda Rapid, Volkswagen Vento and the upcoming new generation Honda Verna. It just might prove to be a little less for the Honda to retake the numero uno position in the compact sedan segment. So while it is a more appealing package overall, Honda will have to once again rely on the city's brand and core strengths to pull this one off. Go to your nearest showroom and have a look at it. It just might win you over. Okay guys, hope you also enjoyed this quick video on the Honda City car to the usual tech reviews we do. And if you did, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel to see more videos like these and make sure you press the like button. Thank you for watching everyone, this is Vishal and I shall see you in my next video.